I have a bunch of follow-up questions. First of all, Michael Bloomberg, um, is he just going to tease us again, though, Steve? I mean, you're close to him. Is he really going to run this time? I don't know because, honestly, I don't think he knows. And he's very open. What, he is, what you've heard him say publicly is the same thing he says privately. And, and he's trying to figure out whether there's a path forward for someone of his views and with his record. What Mike is not going to do and is, is, quote, apologize in the sense of going back over his positions and the things he did as mayor and say, okay, well, the Democratic dogma now is against this, so I'm going to say I wish I hadn't done that. Back then, I was wrong. And I'm sorry. That's right. What Mike is not going to do and is, is quote, apologize. And uh, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg going on an apology tour yesterday for his controversial stop and frisk policy that he previously defended for a long time. Back then, I was wrong. And I'm sorry. It's just not, not Mike's nature. He's not going to do that. And so the Democrats are going to have to love him for what he is and what he has been. Sorry for stop and frisk policy. Uh, I think you're probably referring maybe to stop and frisk or some policies like that. Look, I think the Democrats need to hire the great, wonderful Brenda Lee to open their national convention and let her sing her signature song, I'm Sorry, <laughs> because every one of them are sorry about something. And that would be a great opening salvo to what the Democrats are saying to America. We're so sorry. Well, we'd be really sorry if we elected them. That's what we'd be sorry about. And, and the reason I mention this particularly is if the unlikely event happens and Trump wins, you will see a market crash of historic proportions, I think. On the market, stocks hit the all-time highs for the second trading day in a row. The Dow gaining 31 today. The S&P 500 was up two. The Nasdaq finished ahead nine. Brand new testimony from critical impeachment witnesses. <laughs> None of it good for the president. Lots of bad news for this president today. An historic first week of televised hearings in the impeachment investigation of Donald Trump. Is it? impeachment worthy. So did you even know this happened? The Dow soaring past 28,000 for the first time in history and getting next to no coverage. So why is the media silent when it comes to the president's wins? Here to weigh in, former chief economist for the U.S. International Trade Commission, Peter Marisi. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Nice to be with you. When you look at the mainstream media coverage, a full 398 minutes dedicated to the impeachment, Ukraine probe, 45 minutes on the successful killing of the ISIS leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and then just four minutes and six seconds of the president's handling of the economy. What's going on? Well, the president has a very strong economy to run on. The economists, most of the profession, are progressives, liberals, and so forth, and their you know, estimates, estimates and criticisms are terribly biased. I could give you very specific examples. Mm -hmm. uh, in reality, uh, we beat all those expectations. The economy is simply doing better than the forecasters said, and the stock market shows it. The stock market is up because corporate profits, growth, jobs creation, and the plight of the people at the bottom is improving so much. Finally, people at the bottom are getting higher wages. We can mm -hmm. thank the Trump economy for that. If you were a Democrat, would you want to talk about impeachment or would you want to talk about the Trump economy? Well, I was it's going basically, to, you know, I also distracting want to ask, people. Though, yeah, I mean, is, is the mainstream media doing a disservice to the public uh, by not talking about how good the economy is? Absolutely. They're, they're, our job is to inform. And up at MSNBC, which is three floors above me, they don't inform anybody. All they do is rent. I mean, what are they displaying? Russia. Soviet Union. Moscow. Including the Soviet Union. Sochi. In Russia. With Putin. Russia. Russia. The Moscow. Russia. In Russia. Vladimir Putin. Putin's been Russia's. Fr Russia. Putin. Vladimir Putin. Putin. Russia. From Moscow. Russia. Russia. Putin. Russia. Vladimir Putin. Putin. What Russia? Russia. It's in Moscow. Russian. That Vladimir Putin. Russian. The Russian. In Moscow. Or Russia's. Moscow. Vladimir Putin. You have basically disgruntled people from the Republican middle that was defeated in the primaries in 2016, who sought to undermine the president, and so he sent Rudy over there to basically execute his foreign policy. It was very much like Henry Kissinger, who is now, uh, you know, a, a hero in American history, mm -hmm. running foreign policy out of the White House for Nixon, because the State Department simply wouldn't do what he wanted him to do. Yeah, I want to ask you about this, because you did bring up uh, potential 2020 Democratic candidates. 
across the board, any of those candidates, can you see them even being able to compete at all when it comes yeah, to the I economy? Do. The mainstream media has sold the idea that billionaires are responsible for inequality. Not that they're an outcome, but that they're responsible. And Liz Warren running against them, you know, it's classic demagoguery. Make up a villain, pick a real individual you can point at, and then create yourself as a hero who's going to solve their problems. The policies she's proposed have been tried in European country after European country after European country, and they have all failed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, to middle class people in the suburbs, I mean, how much do they know about French economic history and, <laughs> and the failures of Francois Mitterrand? But she'll say, look, over in Europe, they have free health care. What she doesn't tell them is the billionaire's tax failed and they have a 15 or 18 percent national sales tax that they will have to pay and we will have to pay to finance that thing. One way or another, there is no free lunch. But mm -hmm. right now they're offering folks something for nothing. Yeah, uh, across the board.